was a week before Christmas, and Tex Dynaco got a visit from someone who he did not know. So you're saying you really don't know who I am? Well, I, I know you used to be the tank coat racer. I'm Reb Meeker! Yes, I was the former tank coat racer, but I'm the host of the hit TV show Beat Reb Meeker. Tell me you've never heard of it? Uh, no. Should I have? Of course you should have! It's a show where I find a random contestant and race against them. And if they win, I have to pay them a million dollars. A million dollars? That sounds like an awful lot. It is. In fact, it's way too much money to give out. So my show is constantly in trouble. And that's why I'm coming to you, a millionaire, to ask you to help me fund my show. So please, Mr. Dynago, please invest in Beat Red Meeker. Give us the money to give our winners, please. Uh, how has your show not been canceled yet? Oh, it's been removed from the air like six times now. It just keeps on coming back. Uh, because I keep putting all the money I have into it. Yeah. Look, Mr. Meeker, I, I'm not gonna do it, okay? I I'm sorry, I'm not interested in funding your little racing competition show. It's just not something that, that interests me. I, I think it's kind of scummy, honestly. And, oh, why don't you just, you know, lower the amount of money you pay everybody? Because... It's a million dollars, okay? Do you know how big that is? Most people aren't gonna do something for $100,000. I'd say most cars would do something for $100,000. That's still a lot of money. <sighs> Just lower the amount. No, it's gotta be a million. It's always been a million, it's gonna stay a million. I can't believe this. Tex Danico doesn't wanna give money to my show. Hey, bud. Huh? Who are you? What's a British police officer doing in the middle of California? Oh. I'm not a British police officer. You see, pal, I'm a representative of a very, very rich car. Being a British police officer is just my expert disguise so that people don't recognize me as the bodyguard of a very rich car. Okay, but, like, we're in California, though, so why are you disguised as a British cop and not an American one? Because it's my expert disguise. Does the guy you work for operate in England? No. He operates in Las Vegas. So then why do you look like that? Be quiet, okay? I didn't choose the costume, he did. Now, I represent a very, very rich car. And I hear he has quite a bit of interest in your little Beat Reb Meeker show. So, how about you and I pay him a visit and he'll Give you the funds you need. Really? Okay, that sounds great. Where is he? Right over there! Man, that Red Meeker guy was annoying. Why would I want to give any of my company's money to someone like him? Hmm. Hey, Tex. What the? A, a British police car? What are you doing in California? Oh, I'm so sick of people asking me this. I... You, you don't remember me? No, not really. I... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> the big guy would like to speak to you. No, 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 no. Please, don't take me with you. Ah! <sighs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, hey, Tex Dynaco. Hey, how you doing, man? Remember me? Reb Meeker, the guy you didn't want to give money to? Uh, Reb, what are you doing here? Shh. Both of you, quiet. Big Dex will see you now. B big what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look who it is. Dex Dynaco and Reb Mika. Heh. <laughs> Good to see you again, Tex. You know this guy? Oh, oh, he certainly does. The world knows Tex Dynaco as the nice, generous owner of Dynaco. He made his fortune mining oil. Well, what the world doesn't know is who owned that oil mine. Yeah, back in the day, little Tex here used to work for me. You worked for this guy? Look, at the time, I just needed a job, and I had no idea that he was some sort of crime boss. Yeah, so he went digging for oil for me. And then, he realized what I was doing in my free time. And he exposed me to the cops. And then he took over the oil field, and he started old Dino Co. And let me tell you, 
I've been trying to get back at him for decades now. I, I don't understand what part I have in all this. Well, I want money from Texi here. Money that's all mine and should be mine and should belong to me. You want old Texi here to give you money. So I'm thinking you and I, now that we're here together, we outnumber old Texi. And old Texi, well, he's old. He's an old guy now, you know? I, I, I mean, I am older than him, but still, he's, he's old. He's weak. He's probably breaking down, you know? The horns on his hood ain't as sharp as they used to be. Ain't that right, Tex? And I'm thinking you and I, we team up and we, uh, dispose of old Texi here. And then we take over the Dynaco fortune. You can have all the millions you want. What do you say, Rabmika, huh? Beat Rabmika could be the best show ever made. What do you say? I say it was a pretty dumb idea to uh, bring us both here in one place at the same time. I mean, like, if you wanted to uh, convince Reb to come with you, there were better ways than, you know, kidnapping him. And uh, I mean, like, what if I get out of this? I mean, obviously, if I get out of this, you just confess the fact that you want me dead. A magician never reveals his secrets, Texi. I, I don't know what you mean by that, but okay. So, so you're saying, if you and I team up and uh, expose of Tex, then I can have all the money I ever wanted. Yeah, yeah, and we can run Dynaco together. What do you say, huh? I say, I say, I say, I say that's one of the most terrible ideas I've ever heard. Tex, run! Well, I gotta say, Reb, whew, I can't keep up with you. Uh, I'm glad to see that you don't want me dead. Why would I want you dead? Why did that guy think I wanted you dead? I don't know. Big Dex is a bit of a weird guy. Hey, hey, get back here, get back here! How do we get out of here? We're stuck in the middle of Vegas with a mob boss after us. What do we do, Tex? Don't worry, Reb. I made a call. A call? A call to who? Please tell me you called someone cool. Like, like the Avengers. The Avengers aren't real! They're not? No, they're fictional characters! I... I... My whole life has been a lie. Be quiet, Reb! Shh! That police car could be anywhere. Yes, he can. Hello, you two. Big Dex has changed his mind. He's decided he wants both of you dead. Well, isn't that just peachy? Big Dex will never get us. Never, ever, 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 ever. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Says who? Get in! Thanks for the save, Rotor. Hey, no problem. It's what I do. But, but Big Dex is still out there. I know. And when he comes back for us, we'll be ready for him. You know, Reb, you seem to be a pretty good guy. I will give some money to beat Reb Meeker. Really? Yeah. Oh, gee, thanks, Tex. Man, we've had quite the adventure today, huh? Yeah. If only there was some sort of way to commemorate this. Oh, I have just the idea.